Hey, Eagle Eye. Today I am joined here with Catherine Lee. She is a student at Reinhardt University, and we're going to be talking about how this year has affected us with COVID-19. So hello, Catherine. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. So thank you for coming on today. I just wanted to basically talk to you about the pandemic and this year and just how it's been for you. So can you start out with telling me a little bit about yourself? Yes. So like Jordan said, my name is Catherine Lee. Um, I am a senior. Um, I'm an early childhood education major. Um, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Um, and I will be graduating next fall. Awesome. So how has this year been for you? It's been such a crazy year with COVID-19 and us with so many uncertainties, not going back to school. Some people have classes on campus. Some people have classes on um, Eagle Web or Canvas. So what has this year been like for you? It's definitely been an adjustment just because online learning is not something that we're all super used to. Um, and it was hard having the mix between in-person and online classes. Um, but I mean, you know, it's, I've made do. Um, I will say I was surprised that um, we made it through the school year, like going in person. Um, I didn't think that that was going to happen. But um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely been an adjustment. But professors have been very understanding and, um, and very, um, like, lenient with assignments and stuff. That's good. So what is your schedule like? Do you have class on campus, online? What's a typical day look like for you? Yeah, so I have three classes on campus. Um, so actually, two of my classes meet um, all on campus. Then one of my classes, um, one day a week is on campus and then the next day on Wednesday it's online, so it's both. Um, and then I have one class that's fully online. Um, so yeah, I don't go to campus every day. I'm a commuter, so um, sometimes I, I usually go to campus Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, but other than that, I'm not really on campus a lot. So that's also an adjustment that I'm not on campus a lot anymore. Have you had COVID? Um, I have not been diagnosed with COVID. Um, I have thought I had COVID several times. Um, got tested and they all came back negative, which is good. Um, but no, I have not actually been diagnosed with it, but I've definitely thought I've had it multiple times. I think that's one thing that's so hard about like this year is it's like anytime we get sick with even if it's just the sniffles, we're like, oh my gosh, we have COVID. You know, it's like our mind automatically assumes it's COVID. So that's super scary. So then I guess the school's policy is that if you've been around someone who has COVID and you're like in direct contact with them, then you yourself have to quarantine for two weeks. And I think that's kind of just the rule like across the board, not even just within school. Um, have you had to quarantine? Yes, I have. Um, I've had to quarantine twice. Um, once I quarantined because I thought I had it and I was waiting for the test results to come back. They were negative, of course, but I didn't go to school until I got the results back. And then another time um, I had to quarantine because um, we thought someone in our sorority had it. Um, thankfully, um, they didn't end up having it, but we had to quarantine for a few days while they got those results back. Do you feel like the schoolwork has been harder this year because we're mostly online, but a little bit on campus? Yes and no. Um, I would say the, the only reason it's been harder is because it's definitely more challenging to get professors help um, as an education major, like with lesson plans. Um, there are so many questions and so many components that have to go into it. And so it's definitely a lot easier, like when you're in the classroom and someone can, you know, sit down with you and go over everything and point out, you know, this is what a chart, a um, grading rubric looks like and all that. And it's hard to explain how to, you know, how to do a grading rubric on Zoom. Um, so it's been harder in the sense that it's definitely been more challenging to get help. 
Yeah, for sure. I definitely agree with that. I'm like, sometimes I'm on Zoom and I'm like, I don't know how to do this. And the online schooling makes it much more difficult. Um, so how has, how have you adjusted to online school? Um, I have kept open communication with my professors. Um, if I ever don't understand something, I try to set up a Zoom meeting with them. If they are doing online um, classes, if they're doing in person, I go in in person. Um, also, another thing that I have struggled with is I don't see a lot of my friends now that live on campus anymore because I'm a commuter and I don't have classes as much as I um, did on campus. And so I've tried to intentionally go out of my way to hang out with the friends that I don't really see as much because we're not on campus as much anymore. For sure. I definitely agree with that. How has this year as a whole affected you? Not even just with school, just like everything in general. Um, I definitely feel like it has had its ups and downs, but I definitely feel like, especially in the beginning, like in April or so, I definitely think that my mental health was definitely being affected um, just because, don't get me wrong, I love my family, but when you put five people cooped up in one house for several months, obviously you're going to have your disagreement sometimes. Um, but, you know, and I definitely think it's been challenging for everyone having to adjust and, you know, the whole mask rule and social distancing and people have had to give up certain things like weddings and concerts and all that kind of stuff. And obviously that's really hard in graduations. Um, so it's definitely been hard, but I think we'll definitely get through it. For sure. I'm fingers crossed that we come out of this as quickly as possible, but at this rate, I just have no idea. So I guess going back to the university standpoint, what would you change from this year going into the spring semester? Like what are some things you're like, I wish they would have done this different and you hope that will be changed? Um, well, something for me is, I mean, obviously I have not had COVID, but um, I think that, I believe this is a rule, but um, I think that if you um, have COVID and it's positive, you have to quarantine for two weeks. Um, my question is, is like, if you have, COVID and you're positive, can you get tested? And if it comes back negative before the two weeks, could you return to class or do we have to finish out the two weeks? So I, I would be interested in looking into that um, just because it is a lot of class to be missing. And I feel like if a student gets retested like a few days before their two weeks ends, then maybe going back so that they don't miss as much but again, I don't know all the guidelines, but. I think something that's hard with that, because I would say the same thing about people that have even been in contact with someone that has COVID. It's like, you could have been around them for 10 minutes, but you were still around them. And then you yourself have to quarantine for two weeks, which I think is super frustrating, especially if you don't even get sick. But I think the reason they do that, especially for COVID patients is because the window of like getting symptoms, I think it's up to like two to 14 days. So I think they just try to be like really overly cautious, but it definitely is frustrating when you're like, I have all this work I need to do. It's difficult online. It's not the same experience and you're better. So it's like, why am I still home? Yeah. Is there anything you think that the university has done so well this semester? Um, I do think that as far as professors, like being understanding. Um, I think that, um, at least for me personally, all my professors have been very understanding. Every time I have told them, like I'm experiencing possible symptoms, they have been very understanding and said, you know, don't worry about it, just log into Zoom, like especially for the online classes. Um, and I've heard from a lot of other people that their professors have been um, understanding about it. And so um, I think that um, that is, the university has done a great job of that on their end, um, of being understanding and under, and realizing that, like, this is a hard semester, and online is difficult, and it's not ideal, so I think that the school has done a good job of recognizing that. Yes, I would definitely agree with that, and, like, something that I've 
learned with the just whole pandemic is like giving people grace because it's like this year has been so hard and has affected so many people in different ways. And it's like, we don't even know how, you know, certain people have been affected by this. And I think just like learning to be understanding and like sympathetic to that people are really going through a hard time. And just like you said, like giving them grace and being understanding of the situation of our world at the moment. So I guess since you haven't had COVID and um, you're staying safe and everything, what are some safety precautions that you feel like you've taken yourself with the new situation of the world? Um, Well, I always wear a mask, like when I go into the grocery store or um, obviously for class. Um, When I go into really any building, um, I wear a mask. Um, Every time I go somewhere like and get back in my car, like whether it be the grocery store or pumping gas or whatever, I use hand sanitizer. Um, I make sure to wash my hands really well. Um, And um, definitely when, you know, I try to avoid super, super big crowds of people. Um, But that's definitely what I would say. I would say I've been in situations where the people I'm with are not wearing masks, but I continue to wear one just to keep myself safe. Yeah, that's awesome. I think if everyone behaves like that, then we will be in a much better situation, you know? Yes. Um, so I guess, what do you think the future holds for us, not only as a university, but us as a country? Oh, gosh. Um, or I guess, take it in a smaller step first. What do you think the spring semester holds for us? Well, um, I'm hoping lots of things. Number one, Um, I was not able to go into the classrooms this year because of COVID, Um, so, and I'm supposed to be in the classrooms in the spring, so I'm really hoping that I can still do that. Um, I also am really hoping that um, the class of 2021 gets to have a graduation in law. Same. I'm very looking forward to that. (laughs) Um, Fingers crossed. Because I know a lot of people were really upset about that. last year. Um, I hope that everyone continues to follow safety precautions um, because again the faster we all follow safety precautions I think the faster um, we can get through this. So I'm optimistic. Obviously I don't think it it all will 100% go away. I think we're a long way from that but I do I am optimistic so I'm hoping for a good semester. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Catherine, for coming on and talking to me today. I think it's really good to get like a student's perspective just about this year and how we can improve things. Um, Stay safe, everyone. Don't forget to wear your mask and be kind to one another. Bye.